So I have a bunch of questions to just, you know, go for. So I'm just going to jump right in. And the first one was, can I spot treat a nylon coat or do I have to just completely wash it? And no, you can totally spot treat it. Hi, Ginger. You can totally spot treat it. Um, just use a brush, you know, and a little soap and then use a, wa use a wet cloth to rinse and you can totally do it. It'll be just fine. Um, hey, Susan, it'll be fine. Just, um, and nylon's actually a great fabric to spot treat because it usually won't show a watermark, especially if you've washed it before. It's really kind of a super one. The next question is, please give me the instructions on how to unshrink a sweater. Um, I've gotten so far along and I'm just going to, I'm just going to give you the whole instructions. Hey, Sandra. So here's how you do it. The first thing you do, hi, Stephanie. The first thing you do is if you've accidentally shrunk a sweater, you put it in a sink of hot water. Hi, Jendi. You put it in a sink of hot water and you add either a little bit of olive oil or a little bit of hair conditioner. And you let that sink in. Hey, Barbara, with a little bit of, you know, olive oil or conditioner and you let it soak. And I always just say overnight, but you let it soak a few hours and then you pull it out and you immediately put it on a towel, like when it's sopping wet and you massage it back into place and you let it dry. Hey, Kristen, you, you let it dry. And then once it's dry, like, you know, then you wash it again to wash the oil mm -hmm. or the um conditioner out of it mm. and her concern is you know i don't want to shrink it back when i wash it again um hand wash it if that's your you know fear um sandra to unshrink what do i look for in the hair conditioner you want a really good one um you don't want one that does something else like you don't want a volumizing conditioner you don't want you know, I mean, I use shampoo for white hair. You know, obviously you don't want that. You just want a good kind of all-purpose conditioner. Just the same sort of thing you'd use on your own hair. Um, but that will do it. The next question was, um, hold on. Computer's being slow to load. Um, the next question was, how do I um, treat fabrics that I can't wash? And... I'm a, here's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming that he's talking about, mm -hmm. like, the sofa or, um, you know, carpet, those sorts of things, right? I mean, that's what my, I mean, that's what my assumption is anyway. So when you do that, you treat it just like you're going to, you know, your apparel, right? You use the same techniques um, that you would use. Like, you know, if you're going to use oxygen bleach, you're going to use vinegar and water, whatever. The difference is you put it on... Then you take a towel with clear water and you blot it wet and you rinse it. Imagine that you're rinsing it. And then once you've done that, then you blot it dry. You're good to go. It's your way to hand launder cashmere. Oh my gosh, it's super easy. You put it in the sink with a little tiny bit of soap. Um, you swish it. Like Then you let it sit for five minutes. Then you swish it. Then you let it sit for five minutes. Then you swish it. Then you let it sit for five minutes. Then you swish it. Then you pull the stopper and let it run out and you refill the sink twice to rinse it. And here's the big trick. You mm. never wring it. You can press it against the wall or the floor of the, the sink and then you just let it lay there. Let it lay there as long as you need to. It might be an hour. It might be two hours. Just let it lay there as long as you need it to. And then once um, it's damp, then you throw it across the drying rack or whatever the key here is never to wring it and not try to pick it up when it's soaking wet. Okay, what to do with the unknown Yellowstone and white decorative pillowcases? Usually that'll come out with just oxygen bleach. If it doesn't come with just oxygen bleach, you can do the thing where you mix the paste of oily soap and a couple of drops of, or a couple of grains of uh, oxygen bleach and rub it in, make a paste, let it sit and run hot water through it. Brand new front loading washing machine. Dino, will you grab my glasses? Um, mm. Front-loading washing machine. Manual says an acidic cleaner to clean the machine. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, says no acidic cleaner to clean the machine. How to clean it. I've used borax and vinegar. Um, vinegar's not that acidic. I mean, what it's not wanting you to use is to use one of those commercial things. Vinegar's not that acidic. You'll be okay. 
Um, hey from the road. Hey, Jenny, how are you? Oh, Stephanie, you're funny. Um, I have a dog gown with cotton lace. The lace has gotten brown on the edges. I've soaked it in OxyClean. It hasn't gotten the brown out. OxyClean isn't strong enough. You need oxygen bleach. Oxygen bleach will take it right out. If you're going to use OxyClean, you need to put it in like a bowl of water. You need to put it in about five scoops to get enough oxygen bleach to do it. But then you're going to have to wash it to get all that boric acid out. Yeah, the hand washing instructions, of course. Coming out with a printable stain guide. No, we're still working on it. It is... You know, I've got all these projects, and I think they're going to be super simple, and then they turn into, like, major things. <laughs> you know, I thought we would have it done by Christmas, to be honest. Um, hello from chilly but sunny Sedona. I bet it's warmer than it is here, Sue. Ginger, you're most welcome. Most welcome. Um, so, um, we've got some other questions, so I'm going to hit them. Did you, we've talked about the book coming out in paperback, didn't we? I'm actually going to have to move you. We're going to go right over here. <laughs> um, that could be like my better side. You know how like Barbara Streisand will only ever um, be seen from one side. And so when she goes on talk shows, they literally will move the set. So she can be on there. Any clues for us as to what book number two will cover? It's cleaning your house. I can tell you. Um, it's cleaning your house. Are you recommending hair conditioner over olive oil? Um, you can do either one, Wendy. I mean, honestly, mm. I have done it with um, uh, olive oil, but I know some people do it with hair conditioner. I mean, you can use hair conditioner. It's just, to be honest with you, some people are a little more comfortable using hair conditioner. Mm. Um, yeah, hand wash it if you're really worried, you know? Um, yeah. I know you have the tools. My advice to you in a smaller to cashmere machine wash and mesh bags. You know what? I think so too, Gail. I think washing them in mesh bags, they are a little fluffier just because of the manipulation. You know, I think it's a little easier. But if you just, you know, have one or if you're just afraid. Janet. Oh, good. I'm glad. You know, we're working on the stain library. That's another one of those things that I thought was just going to go really quick. And it has turned into, uh, it's going to be a phenomenal resource, but it just turned into a bigger project than I expected. I really thought it was, um, you know, going to be something we just whipped out. Famous last words, I guess. Um, oh, denim color, denim transfer on car seats. Does this come up two or three times lately? The trick is you put a leather conditioner, like a thick layer of leather conditioner, on your car seat, you let it sit um, a couple hours and then buff it off. And the, the denim color comes up into the conditioner and buffs it away. Ginger, unknown stain on vinyl flooring. I've tried Amadex. Oi, that was going to be right where I was going to start. Um, I would mix up, I'd probably start by mixing up some oily soap and I'd put it on a cloth so that it would stay wet and I would lay it down on it, you know, so that it could penetrate. Um, if that doesn't work, we're nearly caught up on questions. What else do we have? For oily soap, is hand soap or pH balanced dish soap better? Okay, hand soap is fine. As long as you don't get something moisturizing. Um, you know, my favorite, of course, was Stain Solution from Lalandros, but we know that story. I have been using Levant dish soap, and I mean, I'm loving, loving, loving it. I'm loving it so much, I don't know that I'll go back. I'm actually trying to formulate something myself that gives me everything I want, you know. I mean, I've finally gotten to that point where I can actually have some things formulated just for me. But um, right now I'm using Levant dish soap and I love it because I'm using it for my laundry, but I'm also using it around the house. Like I'm using it for dish soap and I'm also using it, it's great to clean your bathtub. So I'm kind of into it at the moment. But liquid hand soap, as long as you don't get something that's like moisturizing or whatever, is totally fine. Will you ever come to the Austin Home Show? Come on, I would love to come to the Austin Home Show. If you know anybody, tell them to call me. I am coming back to Houston, though. Um, can't get out of state on my pajamas from Vix. Damn cold. Okay, first of all, I'm with you. Um, I think ammonia will take it out. Just get off as much as you can, scrub it with brush, and then soak it with some ammonia and water, and I think that'll pull it out. Your product would be amazing. Oh, thanks. Um, you can mix Levant with oxygen bleach. That's what's so great about it. You can use it just like you use stain solution. Put a drop of on your stain, sprinkle some oxygen bleach on it, and it's fine. 
the thing that's unique is the pH of it is really neutral, but it still works. You know, like Dawn and those things are just so acidic. That's why I would never use them on clothes. And the Levant, I mean, I tested it quite a bit. We also got Archipelago stain or um, spot remover in the store. I have not tested it yet, but I think it's also going to be really good. Um, have you heard any updates on when the laundress is going to offer refunds? Have you filled out the form on the laundress's website? If you've filled it out, I'm told it's eight to ten weeks. I haven't seen it. I did a video about it just to show, but. Um, I mean, they are going to do it. I'm not worried about getting the refund, uh, but I don't know when. If you haven't filled it out, go on their website and, you know, they have a safety notice page and you upload your products. You don't need a receipt. They kind of, I feel like it's a little hard to read or a little hard to understand. You don't need a receipt though. You absolutely do not need a receipt. You just take a photo. You write on the bottom of the bottle, like you just... Where next to the batch number, you would write like your initials and the date, and you just snap a photo of it. The fun thing is, or the thing that they don't tell you, but it's totally true, is you can put as many items as you want in one photo. So when I did it, I did like five or six products, held them, and somebody snapped the photo, and I uploaded six at one time, and it was good to go. I'm loving the Levant, the Laundress. I I don't see it coming out before summer. You know, I was hoping March, but I just don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's realistic. Um, I think it's going to be summer before the laundress products come back. And I don't, the other thing I don't know is what's going to come back. I think that this may be an opportunity for them to discontinue some things. So I don't know. I mean, I've not heard from them. I'm literally just guessing, but I think, you know, so, um, we're going to see, you know, but until then we got to use something and I'm loving Levant dish soap. Um, I think I'm going to like the stain, the spot remover from Archipelago. I just haven't had a chance to use it. Quite frankly, we got it in and it sold out so fast. I didn't even have time to take a bottle home. So, um, it's reordered when it comes back in. Everybody knows before it even goes on the floor to give me a bottle so I can try it. Um, I used a sample because, you know, I try everything that comes into the store. I used a sample bottle and I liked it as a spot remover but when I did that, I didn't know that I was going to need it as a replacement. So I didn't use it in the same way I use stain solution. Um, how do you spell Levant dish soap? It's L apostrophe A-V-A-N-T. And it is on our website. However, <laughs> it's backordered. I mean, we're selling it like once people found out that it worked, we're selling it really fast. Um, but it's L apostrophe A-V-A-N-T. And then it's dish soap. It comes in a gorgeous bottle, by the way. They also have hand soap. Um, they have an all-purpose cleaner. They have a few products. I really kind of am I'm kind of liking their products, actually. It took me a little while to warm up to them, but I'm really kind of coming along. Kylie, how are you? Do you have a favorite way to clean wood floors? I'm currently using powder detergent I'm no longer using for my laundry. Actually, that's not a bad solution. Um, I, uh, you know, my whole house is wood. And most often, I clean them with water. Um, you know, I vacuum them, and then I use a microfiber cloth, and I just put water on it. But when I feel, when I'm going to wax them, for example, because I wax them a couple of times a year, um, when I'm going to wax them, I use soap flakes. So you're not off with using your powder detergent. I use about, what would I say... In the bucket, and I would say the bucket is five gallon. No, the bucket's not that big. It's probably two gallons. I probably use three tablespoons of soap flakes, and I use really hot water, and I'd like beat the devil out of it so that they dissolve, and then I just use a terry cloth towel, and you know, and that seems to work really great. Um, my floors are too old to steam. I steam the bathroom and the kitchen, but. Um, my floors are really old, and so even sealed, you know, their seal isn't... I'm not comfortable using steam on them, so... But I steam the bathroom and the kitchen, and, you know, if I could, I'd steam everything. Like, if I had, you know, luxury vinyl or new hardwood floors, I'd steam those suckers. Oh, you guys, we've run long! Um, I try never to go over 15 minutes, but we had so many good questions. Alright, so... 
couple things to tell you. I'm at the Charlotte Home Show next week. Um, then I'm doing Minneapolis, and then I'm doing Houston, and then I'm doing uh, Edison, New Jersey. So they're all on my web. They're hopefully all on the website. I'm putting them up. Then there's Nashville and Evansville, Indiana, and Duluth. So it's going to be super fun. Well, with that. Oh, Wendy, I, I love that you watched them. Thank you. Um, we put a video up yesterday about an aluminum foil ball, if anybody hadn't seen it. Um, we sent an email. But anyway, <laughs> hey, Mark, thank you. I just saw that you got back from New York. I'm going to ask you about Funny Girl. Um, oh, Sue, that's interesting to add the coconut oil and the Castile soap. That's basically what the soap flakes are. I mean, the soap flakes are sunflower and coconut oil. You know, so it's a very similar, so we're using a very similar thing. Huh. So, all right. Everybody, thank you so much. Have a great week. I hopefully will be on next week. I haven't seen my travel schedules, but I'm going to try to make it work. So everybody have a great day. Bye.